Welcome to Infinite Learnopedia channel. In this video, let's discuss important MCQs for online exam for subject soft computing. Let's get started. First question is, which of the following is associated with fuzzy logic? Answer is B, many valued logic. Explanation is, since fuzzy logic can define the set membership with some specific value, it may have multiple set values. Next question is, the truth values of traditional set theory can be defined as dash and that of fuzzy logic is termed as answer is C, either 0 or 1 and between 0 and 1. So, for traditional set theory that, that is crisp set is between either 0 or 1. Crisp set gives values between 0 or 1. Whereas, fuzzy logic, it gives values between 0 and 1. How many types of random variables are there in fuzzy logic? Answer is B. That is 3. So, there are 3 types of variables. Number 1 is Boolean. Number 2 discrete and Third is continuous variables. The next question is a fuzzy logic is an extension to the crisp set which handles the partial truth. Answer is A. That is true. So fuzzy logic is extension to the crisp set that is traditional set. Which of the following represents the values of set membership? Answer is A. Degree of truth. Which of the following fuzzy operators are utilized in fuzzy set theory? Answer is A, B and C. So in fuzzy logic, AND, OR and NOT, these operators represent minimum, maximum and complement are the three operators in fuzzy. Next question is dash represents the fuzzy logic. Answer is A. If then rules. So in fuzzy set theory, the fuzzy operators are defined on the fuzzy sets. On my channel, you will also find videos, tutorials on soft computing. All topics of soft computing are covered. Topic number one, fuzzy set. Number two, topic genetic algorithms. And number three, topic artificial neural networks. Next question is uncertainty can be represented by answer is D all of the above. So all of the above represents uncertainty in fuzzy. A perceptron can be defined as answer is D that is a single layer feed forward neural network with pre processing. So the single layer neural network, it consists of input values, number 2 weights, number 3 bias, number 3 net sum and it is followed by activation function. What is meant by an, by an auto associative neural network? Answer is A, a neural network including feedback. Next question is which of the following is correct in the below statements? Answer for this is A, that is all of the above. Number one statement, in contrast to conventional computers, neural networks have much have much higher computational rates, which is true. Number two, neural networks learn by example, this is also true. Number three, neural networks mimic the same way as that of human brain, this is also true. So here, answer is A, that is all of the above are true. Last question is, which of the following is correct for the neural nets? Here also some statements are given for neural network. Number one is, training time is dependent on the size of the network. Number two, neural networks can be simulated on the conventional computers. 
So number one and number two are correct. Number three, artificial neurons are identical in operation to a biological one. Number three is false. So artificial neurons compared with biological neurons is not identical. Artificial neural networks are different. So here one and two statements are correct. The answer for this is C. Explanation is the training time depends on the network size. It is correct. The more the number of neurons, the more would be the possible states. Neural networks can be simulated on a conventional computer, but neural networks main advantage parallel execution is lost. And the last point is artificial neurons are not identical in operation to biological ones. This video will definitely help you to prepare for your online exams. Hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel that is Infinite Learnopedia. Do watch next videos on subject soft computing. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.